One was on probation, another had a warrant for his arrest, and both involved drug charges. But an exclusive Five on Your Side investigation found both landed jobs as licensed security guards and continued to steal drugs. On Your Side Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us live with how that can happen. Well, Danita, the vast majority of security guards are professionals with clean records. And when they're hired, the guard's company checks their background with a state agency, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Identification. But our investigation found serious cracks in that system. There are 20,000 security guards in Ohio. Their profile has increased since 9-11, when Homeland Security directors across the country stressed the vital role of private security guards. Being sort of the, the first arm of defense in our state and for safety and security. But we found serious flaws in Ohio's criminal background system. So serious, convicted felons are going undetected. You're putting the fox in the hen house. Agent Chris Begley is with the Lake County Narcotics Agency. He's been arrested in uh, five different states now in the Northeast and Midwest. Investigators say when Troy Mellon applied for a job as a security guard, he had an active drug warrant from Kentucky. But despite a criminal background check, Mellon was hired. And while off duty... He was actually posing as uh, either the doctor or a doctor's assistant uh, calling pharmacies, ordering drugs in his name. In September, Mellet pled guilty to three counts of illegal processing of drug documents and was sentenced to 175 days in jail and three years probation. Thomas O'Connell... He was originally arrested by the Lake County Narcotics Agency. ...was another guard. In 2007, court records show he pled guilty to four counts of deception to obtain dangerous drugs and placed on probation. What he was doing is seeing multiple physicians for the purpose of getting prescriptions. But despite entering a guilty plea, O'Connell continued to get hired. The Ohio Department of Homeland Security confirms O'Connell worked for three separate security companies while still on probation for a drug arrest. And this past summer... I was informed by the State Pharmacy Board... O'Connell was arrested again. ...that uh, Mr. O'Connell was arrested uh, for a, another drug offense, uh, apparently the theft of drugs from a uh, hospital. And his assigned area included a hospital pharmacy filled with narcotics. State Pharmacy Board investigators say the case has been referred to a grand jury. So how can guards with criminal backgrounds slip through? Pose a serious risk. Greg Hollenbaugh serves on Ohio's Private Security Commission. The way that can happen is right now under this current system, they have a background check when you hire them and no other records uh, background check done uh, during the duration of their time as a security officer. That's right. One check when hired. If you're an unarmed guard, you have a one-time uh, background check, and that's it, by law. And Ohio Homeland Security is left to trust the security company to track future arrests or convictions. That background occurs on the initial application. Um, so we're relying on the company. Troy Mellett slipped through because his arrests were outside Ohio. And for unarmed guards like Mellett, only in-state criminal records are checked at least until we started asking questions. So based on the information from, from you, we were um, able to take action, and, and, um, and we did, and we appreciate it. Mellet's license was revoked. But for narcotics agents, what we found is troubling. You could also be compromised in the fact that you could be bribed with money or drugs to uh, allow unauthorized entry or, or give away information. Now, as for that guard assigned to a hospital pharmacy, here's what we found. He was hired before his criminal record was on file with the state. So when his company checked, it came back clean. I'll have more on the fallout from all of this and what Ohio's Homeland Security Director is now demanding. Tomorrow at 6. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.